Hi, I'm David Glidden. I'm an elder at FCCO, where my wife Judy and I also serve as marriage coaches. As I reflect on the turmoil of 2020, I've been considering how many times I turn to God in prayer. Oh, I turn to him a lot, but how often do I sincerely pray, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven? Too often I ask God to do my will, to fill my needs, forgetting that God understands my needs better than I do. And he has infinite power to accomplish his plans in my life. Even the Apostle Paul had to remember this when praying about the thorn in his flesh. In 2 Corinthians 12, verses 8 through 10, we read, Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Paul then continued, Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in difficulties, in persecutions. For when I am weak, then I am strong. When I am weak, then I am strong. Think about it. How often do we encounter people will, being willing to be weak so that God can be glorified? How many times do I allow myself to relax in God's hands rather than praying that God would rescue me from this current trial. COVID-19 has affected our jobs, our families, our church, our social life. We may have strong opinions about the right way to respond to COVID, but some family members and friends may think differently. We may think one way about the presidential election, but people we love have contrary perspectives. So the question for me is this, have I been asking for God's will regarding the direction of our government? Have I been praying for his will regarding the best way to respond to the pandemic? For his will to be displayed in my life whenever I hear different opinions on worldly things from the people I love? Or why I continue to think that I know best? In the Gospel of John, John the Baptist shared with his followers that Jesus must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. My prayer today is that Jesus will become greater and greater in my life, and my worldly desires will grow less and less. The night he was betrayed, Jesus prayed, Father, if you are willing, please take this cup of suffering away from me. Yet, I want your will to be done, not mine. Jesus faced torture and crucifixion, and he still prayed for God's will to be done. And because of his obedience, Jesus has overcome the world, and he stands ready to help us overcome it as well. Thank you for sharing this time with me. I hope you have a wonderful day.